Hi there, my name is Ian Zapman from Security Online Academy and in this video we're going to be talking about how to secure your Firefox browser. Now, to be sure, Firefox is already more secure than Google Chrome, uh, but there are plenty of settings that need to be uh, adjusted to make sure that you really are secure. Uh, we're also going to talk about stopping all the ads that follow you around. Uh, and not only that, but the trackers. The, there's trackers on every website, even on my website. I've got Google Tracker and Facebook Tracker. Um, and But these trackers allow the hackers, the snoopers, and the governments to track you. Uh, so we can do something about it by blocking them. So to a great extent, we can enhance your privacy and security by blocking these trackers. So if you want to learn how to protect your privacy and security, please keep watching. So now we'll get right on to it. So let's just bring up Firefox and it's already suggesting we use Google, which is not the browser, not the search engine we want to use. Anyway, we'll start up. Also, I don't want to see pictures of Tony Blair when I get up in the morning. Uh, so we click on this little uh, menu here and go to options and we're going to start setting up the, the various settings. So Firefox is currently our default browser. The tabs are okay. Language and appearance, this is fine. Uh, I'm in the United Kingdom, so I've chosen uh, the UK, obviously. Now, files and applications, this is interesting. Um, it's defaulted here to save the files to the downloads folder on your PC, uh, which is actually probably the best thing to do because every time it's downloaded there, you know where they're going to go. They'll always be there. Also, they're going to get checked by your antivirus software, which I hope you have. I, as it happens, use McAfee, but there's plenty of others out there that are very good. Uh, as far as applications are concerned, we really need to stop the portable, uh, the PDFs from opening up in Firefox. If they open straight up in Firefox, it's nice and convenient, but they're not checked by your antivirus. So we're going to recommend you change it to save the file. Uh, just for its safety and security, really. You never really know what's going to come through on a PDF. Um, keep the Firefox uh, up to date automatically, no problem. For browsing, that's no problem. Network settings, there's one we need to change here. Generally, whenever you, you're doing something and flipping to another website, it uses what they call the DNS server on your service provider to find out what your what the IP address is, the address of your chosen website but it's generally not necessarily encrypted so if you want it to be always encrypted that question just have the dns over https it'll go to cloudflare in many occasions it'll be quicker than using what you've got on your service provider but that's the most secure way of uh, flipping from website to website so we'll choose that next we'll do the home settings um I definitely don't want Firefox Home and see Tony Blair on my front page. So I'm going to use blank page. It's my preference. It doesn't have to be your preference. You can choose whatever you want. Um, I certainly wouldn't choose Google. That's, uh, that's often one people choose, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to go there. Firefox Home content. We definitely want to turn this off. We don't want this being turning up on your screen. So there we go. We've turned that one off. Uh, search engine. Uh, I generally like a search bar up over here. My personal preference. It's got nothing to do with security necessarily, but I prefer that. This you definitely need to change. Google is not a private search engine. DuckDuckGo is absolutely private. It's dedicated to your privacy. You can go look them up and, and read what they have to say. Uh, I may even do a video about it, actually. But this is what your default search engine should be. That's not to say that the Google search engine is not good. It's an excellent search engine. Uh, but if you can't find what you want with DuckDuckGo, then you will go to uh, to Google. Um, having said that, a lot of what we're about to do will, to a great extent, protect your privacy and security by blocking the trackers uh, and things that Google and Facebook do so well. Search suggestions, I'm not going to bother with search suggestions. You don't really need that. Uh, if you do have them, uh, though, you want to keep your, get rid of these various suggestions that you don't need. Keep DuckDuckGo, 
you're probably going to search Amazon and Google uh, on occasion, so keep those. Um, this is just to cut down the, the, the searches if you do use search suggestions. Uh, privacy and security. Uh, this is for tracking, and it does it quite well for custom. It's not perfect. It's better than uh, standard, of course. The only one I would change here is to block the tracking in all windows, even when you're in privacy mode. Um, if you've got the tracking cookies allowed, they are not good. Uh, so there we go. Do not track. I would always put a do not track. Many websites don't even bother to uh, honor this, but it's good habit. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a good habit to, to have that checked. Delete the cookies and change. Um, personal preference. Um, I personally like the cookies to be kept. Um, but if you want to be more secure, more paranoid, then delete the cookies. Sure enough, there, there's going to be less uh interference but i actually like it if i've come out of a website and i want to retain what was in the basket for example if i've deleted the cookies when i close firefox i've lost it um but that's personal preference it is more secure to delete it but i tend to like it so i'm keeping it uh logins and passwords we don't want the uh passwords maybe i'll show that one uh show alerts about passwords for breach websites uh, but generally, we don't want Firefox to save our passwords. Uh, we're going to use LastPass, which is an extension. And then you can get a, it's a free account, but you can get an upgraded account, uh, which is, I'm not quite sure how much that costs, but that will protect your passwords for you and even suggest strong passwords. History, remember history. If you turn this, remember, if you turn this on to uh, never remember history, it will automatically set this to deleting your cookies so these two work together it's your own preference if you don't want to remember history uh, then turn that up but that will also delete the cookies the address bar we don't really need very much on here you just want your bookmarks you've saved those bookmarks if you've got a ton of bookmarks saved you're going to want to keep those so you want those permissions generally your camera uh, location and microphone the settings are Usually they will ask you, can I, um, uh, can I, can I know your location? Can I turn on the camera? Uh, that's usually fine. The only one that I always turn off is the notifications because this sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. But you often get these pop ups that say, you know, allow notifications and you can click block, but if you allow, uh, you're going to get all sorts of little ads and notifications down here in the bottom right hand corner of your screen personally i'd turn them off but it's up to you um data collection we don't want data collection so we're not going to to have that security yes you may as well block the dangerous downloads certificates good to check the certificates um https only mode i'm going to enable this What's going on is this will normally, if you've gone to a website which doesn't have a certificate, doesn't have the uh, the little, uh, you can't see it here actually, the, the little padlock which secures the, which shows that it's a secure website, um, it will enable this and say, sorry, we can't go there because it's not secure. But it's good to leave it on. You can always choose to go, uh, but we're going to add another extension anyway uh, to deal with this. So let's go and have a look at the extensions we want to add. So the first thing we want to add is the ad blocker. So this is uBlock Origin. uBlock Origin. And this will basically block your ads. You can turn this off for any given page. Maybe you want the ads. I personally don't want the ads. Remember, you're still going to be tracked. It just won't show you the ads. So let's just allow it to work in the private. Say OK. So that's added, and you can see here uBlock Origin in the top right hand corner. Let's go to the next one, which is our tracker blockers. And we're going to first of all to go to Privacy Badger. This fellow learns what trackers. Every website has trackers on. My own website, for example, would have Google Analytics, um, minimally Google Analytics. 
if you want to turn it off and stop it privacy badger will do that it learns what 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 trackers are on the websites that you are looking at it doesn't necessarily tell you which ones they are uh, or close them but you can you can see them it's a very good uh, privacy blocker so let's just add it in add to firefox okay and you can read this for yourself what's uh, how, how it works and what it's doing uh, i probably will be doing a video on this as well another one it is more or less belt and braces but i like to do this this is duck duck go and it's another blocker and it shows you'll be able to see the differences between the blockers dot dot go will show you blockers that uh privacy badger may well have blocked but it doesn't tell you whereas dot dot go does so we'll add this fellow as well say okay so there he is up here so you've got dot dot go privacy badger you block let's come back out of here and the next one we want to do is the https everywhere this is going to ensure that everything is encrypted https everywhere sorry my typing skills are not the greatest here we go so i'll add to firefox and we'll say add we'll say allow it okay and here it is i'm just going to click on this little s here um what it's telling you is it's on but it doesn't encrypt all eligible sites unencrypted arrests requests are currently allowed so click that so that everything is on now you can disable if it comes to a site that says that you really want to visit which doesn't have https in other words it's just http uh, and you still want to go to it there's nothing wrong with that but just you can turn that off for that site so that's uh uh, another little click you can do and you can do this as you're going along so we've done that one and the final one we're going to do is last pass you will need a an account for this but we're going to pass a password manager it's not the only one if you want a different one then certainly use it by by all means but this one's perfectly fine let's just take a few minutes while it comes up there we go we add it okay i'm going to say okay oops i should have allowed that exception i should accept its permissions and properties uh, and properties what you're going to have to do is log in create a uh, uh, an account it's no big deal but that will save your passwords and even suggest <clears throat> suggest passwords if you need it so that's a very good one as well so essentially we're done i'm just going to go and do something which i always do because it's missing here i'll show my bookmarks toolbar there we go and just to see that this paper i know always has lots and lots of ads there's its, it's block notifications that did not block it even though we set it to block them so just click block or allow i always click block and we have no ads here which is wonderful um also we've got if we go to the telegraph another uk paper no ads so it's uh it's doing its job it has no ads you can see here on this one there were 47 ads blocked uh it's telling you how many other domains this thing's connected to uh and it's connected it's blocked 71 ads since we just installed this privacy badger you can go learn at your own oops that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Privacy Badger, here we go. It's, it's blocked these four um, trackers, Telegraph's own tracker, and various other things, which I have no idea what they mean. You can look them up yourself, probably. Uh, if you go look at uh, DuckDuckGo, it's given classic it as a B+. Plus. I don't think I've, I've rarely seen a website that's classed as A, here it's 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 saying yes it's an encrypted connection there are unknown privacy practices um but it's track it's blocked five trackers here so that's pretty good everything is on okay here 
that's past is okay you just got to do your account so essentially we are finished we've now secured firefox as much as we're going to be able to at this point remember it's not totally secure so let's close this and we'll carry on so what have we accomplished we've shown you how to set the firefox browser settings for your basic security we've added some extensions to further enhance your security but there's a lot that still needs doing and we're not going to do that in this video uh, so what we haven't discussed yet and will be in our next videos will be vpns virtual private networks these are another must have remember there's there's no silver bullet for privacy and security on the internet it's a layered approach um, and the vpn is certainly another necessary layer it's not it's also not a silver bullet it only does protection to a certain point which we will discuss in our next video uh, email security no email that you send is, is secure you may as well send postcards unless you're using some pretty secure email which is available uh, it depends on how paranoid you are i suppose um, i use something in addition to email uh, to secure email i use something called security net which is a, um, a product which delivers data from one computer to another so it's a very very private way of communicating with your colleagues and your uh, customers but that's for another another video data encryption this you there's data safes you can put on your uh, pc there's the actual encrypting individual files as you send them that's uh, and attachments for for email security so that's also a video which we will be discussing this and there's browser fingerprints which is basically google and facebook can identify you down to your address down to where you live and that's quite dangerous and there are things we can do to minimize it but we're not quite there yet with what we've done we've done a lot of the work but not the final bits so there's a lot yet to do as i said security and privacy is multi-layered no silver bullet and you've got to add more layers that all work together to enhance your privacy and security so there we go uh, we're done i'm going to give a special thanks to all those folks that have given us mozilla firefox browser and the extensions thanks very much guys whoever you are uh, so thanks to you for watching this video i do appreciate it if you like what you've learned subscribe to my channel uh, leave a comment below and a thumbs up and as you can note here a thumbs up is also another tracker that we'll discuss in the future so it's uh, there's trackers everywhere we haven't blocked them all yet so please click the link below the video to go to my website where you can sign up for our free ebook seven ways to protect your online privacy it does discuss a number of these things that we were talking about vpns and secure email and security so if you want to have a quick view of that uh, please go to our website and download it so many thanks if you've got any questions you can find me at securityonlineacademy.com uh, slash contact me or leave a contact below and uh, i'll try and answer you thank you very much indeed uh, have a good one bye